Uh, guess what? We are officially broke. <laughs> What's going on? A quantum camper here. We are going to do an in-depth look into the Fortnite item shop today. All right. Uh, we've got some amazing skins for you. Also, we have a glider returning after nearly 2,000 days. Okay. Breaking news. Snazzy Blocks has officially acquired every single glider that is purchasable in the item shop, which is actually insane. Congratulations, Snazzy Blocks. Had to share that. That's that's wild. Okay. We're gonna get into the thick of this, okay? I'm looking at Shadow Midas. This is the last day he's gonna be available. I'm looking at him, I'm like, okay. Do I need this? Can I live without this skin? Also, should I start becoming to look like this in real life? What if I looked like an edgy e-boy in real life? We're going to talk about it, okay? Um, there's so much good stuff in the shop right now. It's actually insane. Uh, we have to get into this. But before we do, all right? Before, and you know what? By the way, and this isn't anything about the Mephisto skin. Uh, you can, like, sacrifice health to him in-game. And he gives you weapons. I did it like eight times, and every single time it's just garbage guns. It's not even worth it's not even worth it. Stick with God, bro. Don't deal with the devil. Just saying. <laughs> it's never worth it. Uh, there's so much good stuff in here, dude. It's absolutely it's wild. And I still still cannot get enough of Sally. I really can't. Uh, this is so I'm getting to the point right now, uh, where it's I'm gonna have to start showing hardcore skin restraint uh, and it's gonna come down to the to the uh, you know to the question can I live with this skin can I not can I live without this skin actually uh, the answer is I absolutely cannot live without Sally so I'm super super happy that I got her um, we're gonna talk about some skins that I can live without and that I cannot all right, before we do a deep dive, though, before we uh, get into the thick of it, as they say, uh, before we go in depth, there's two things we got to do. That's right. You know it. You love it. Why am I sitting all weird, dude? By the way, this potentially could be the last day that I'm in this place. I may record from my new, um, my new apartment tomorrow. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm... Um, Edward Scissorhands is coming out tomorrow, which is big news. I may, I don't know. We're, we're ah, ah! There's too much stuff to talk about. Uh, we got to do the dang OCD check here, which we are currently doing. Display capture on, camera on, recording, audio's moving up and down. You know how we roll. Raw and uncut, baby. We're a one-man band. It's just me and you. One more time. That's all we need. Display capture, camera on. We're good, dude. We're good. Um, the other thing we got to do though, before we get into this, I have a favor to ask of you. And, uh, that is to please use my supported creator code. Okay. And what, what I do with this money is I buy V bucks. I'm currently giving away uh, a bunch of V bucks. We've already given away like over 10,000, uh, V bucks in the last like week or so. Um, I've got more to give away. We're going to do a drawing for the mini photography uh, contest, okay? Which I have 31 names loaded in here. These, This is uh, just for people who contributed to the mini photography contest, which was absolutely amazing. We're gonna go over uh, the submissions. Um, oh, I had it loaded up, but now I don't. So, tons of cool stuff going on. I seriously, that's, that's how we fund this, dude. I have like, uh, I don't know, five more here. I'm going to pick up more because we're doing a big photography contest. We're putting a hold on the uh, giveaways after this for a while, just so I can move in to my new place, get settled in, and then we'll start, um, we'll fire those up again. Uh, before, but so that's, that's where the money goes, man. I don't make a lot. It's a small percentage. Every time you make a uh, a say, or every time you make a purchase, I get a small percentage of that. But cumulatively, uh, it adds up, and I give that money back to the community. So, uh, so hit that supported creator button right here. All right, uh, it is 
you can do it on any console, PC. Uh, you can do it on the browser version of the item shop. doesn't matter. It's all one word, quantum camper. That's my code. And it doesn't matter if it's uh, capitalized or not. Just hit that, uh, hit that search button right there. You look for the green check mark. That's it. You're done. Uh, cancel the back out. And uh, one more thing, though. Do you know what the definition of the word Fortnite is? Okay. Wow. I, why did that just happen? Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Now I am in, I'm in like a weird windowed mode. That sucks. I hate it. I hate it when I accidentally do that. Uh, the definition of the word Fortnite, not the special game word, you know, how they spell it a little different for the game. The actual word Fortnite means uh, 14 days. So coincidentally, every 14 days, um, the supported creator code resets automatically. So even if you've put it in before, do me a favor. If you don't see my name down there, check one more time. Uh, and if it's not there, just all you got to do is put it in one more time and you're good for another two weeks. Cheers to that. I'm drinking a sparkling water lime flavored from costco okay very nice let's get into this dude so we got to talk about ultima carver bundle oh my god we're gonna do another ocd check i'm just freaking out today we're recording display capture on we're good everything's fine we're good we're good okay ultima carver I wouldn't even say I was harsh on it yesterday. I was just kind of like, ah, the ADS and blah, blah, blah. It's too bulky. Dude, after watching the footage that Borderline Peso sent me of him crushing, um, it's the ADS is not bad and it doesn't look too bulky at all. Uh, so I was like, oh, this is actually a really fire skin. So yeah, I... I I'm not going to say I'm going to retract my statement, you know, my opinion, because I, I feel like I was very fair with the skin. Um, but I will retract the statement about the ADS and it being bulky. Because um, I don't, because I, upon, for, I watched one review video and I was like, and they were like, the ADS is terrible. Oh my God, it's huge. And I was like, oh, okay. And then even Borderline was like, bro, you got to, you know, don't watch other people's reviews stick to your community because you know they'll they'll be honest and you know they're not trying to talk crap about because you know that's a lot of and i'm not going to name any names i'm going to say anyone and, and not everyone does this constantly but you know what people just like to be negative especially with with i mean in general uh because it's so easy to live a life of darkness uh it really is uh and it's it, it's hard to be happy it's a choice you literally can say, I'm choosing to be happy right now. And that's it. <laughs> that's all you got to do. Um, so, yeah, even Borderline was like, dude, you just, just stick to your community when you're, you know, for, for reviews. And I was like, you're 100% right. Because you guys rock and you're positive. You try, or at least try to keep, I know it's a daily struggle to fight the darkness. For me too. Um... And so, yeah, my bad for watching an outsider's opinion. <laughs> I'm sticking to you guys from now on. That's why I love it when you send me, um, ooh, what am I doing with that light on, dude? We got to get a little spooky. Um, that's why I like it when you guys send me footage because I don't, I don't, I, I literally cannot afford every skin. Um, I can afford an abundance of skins. But I can't afford everything. So that's why I really like it when you guys send me footage, uh, especially of the new skins that come out. Anytime you buy anytime you buy a new skin and you see me not get it, dude, I, I would love to see footage of it for real. Um, regardless if it's not a, a, a W, getting you getting a victory, I mean, especially if it's a victory, send me that. Um, but yeah, even if you, you want to do like a little mini review of it, I'll put that on here. So we can help each other out. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So shout out Borderline for sending me that footage. Uh, this is really great. This is really, really great skin, honestly. And I really like this. Uh, freaking pickaxe is sick. 
Uh, and twelve hundred, dude. A lot of people were like, "Bro, this is this was like a this could have easily been a fifteen hundred skin just for the skin and back bling." Uh, twelve hundred though, I think twelve hundred is is stellar, dude. Uh, great, great for the season. Just great in general. I think it's a really cool skin. So, uh, we got Baba Yaga. People go crazy over this. Uh, Baba Yaga is, uh, I mean, for, for, for the design, everything, it's, it's crazy. It's wild. It's, it's a really good design. Knocked it out of the park, like for what they were going for 10 out of 10. Um, and the back bling is phenomenal. I really, really like the back bling. That being said, I cannot get over. <laughs> I cannot get over the wards, dude. <laughs> I thought I was actually just gonna be able to breeze, breeze past that. It's just that is just too much for me. But you know what? If you have no problem with seeing the warts, then uh, it's it's just little certain things like that kind of kind of really freak me out. Um, so I, that's a hard pass for me. Just be it warts alone, but. That being said, the design, everything about it is very cool. So if you're pro warts, then more power to you. I know I know a bunch of you got it and like it. So uh and it is very and you know what? Maybe it's a spooky skin, dude. See, I like fun spooky. You know what I mean? So like this back bling that I have on right here, that's like fun spooky. Like Sally is fun spooky to me. Pumpkin head, fun spooky. Um, Michael Myers, not fun spooky, but like actual, uh, you know what I mean? But he's not like nasty looking. He is like a terrible, terrible villain, but just, I don't know. Bobby Yaga is just nasty, dude. Ugh, it's too nasty. Um, Shadow Midas, dude. Shadow Midas leaves today. So, you know, I just moved and or I'm in the process of moving. I got the keys. I put the down payment or the uh, deposit and, you know, uh, prorated rent because I'm moving in mid month and, uh, you know, they don't pay full month's rent on the first. But that being said, I'm, you know, I'm going to be spending a lot more money on uh, rent than I'm used to. And like, so I can't, I, I really got to start showing skin restraint and it's coming down to the point where I'm like, okay, what can I live without? What can I, you know what I mean? So it's a it literally, ha, I, I can't just make impulse uh, purchases in, anymore, which I really like doing because sometimes those impulse purchases, I'm like, ah, it's actually kind of cool. All right. You know, I'll grab it. And then I use it a bunch. And then I'm like, oh, I love this actually. Um, so, you know, it is kind of a bummer that I won't be able to spend as much on skins, but uh, you know, that's life, dude. But that being said, I'm, I'm like really trying to think like shadow Midas is this something I can't live without and 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 I'm starting to think that like I really really want him because he's super super cool uh I would say like next to the actual original Midas skin like this is probably the best one um and then I was like dude I gotta kind of up my freaking like I'm all into the like edgy e girls and stuff like that in real life or in uh, in in game here, you know. But like, I mean, in real life too. But uh, <laughs> I'm like, I need to step. I need to get a little more edgy. I used to wear all black, all black. Like my entire wardrobe was just black on black, everything. And then I was like, I'm gonna start wearing color because I want to be happy. And then I was like. And then I started wearing color and I was still miserable because I didn't work on myself. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of work to be to be happy. It doesn't <laughs> you can wear all black and be happy and you can wear colors and be completely miserable. So your your wardrobe does not dictate your mood is what I'm saying. Um, but I was like, dude, I kind of want to get like, what if I go like full edgy e-boy like Midas style in real life? Like. Uh, I have a good friend who's like a sick tattoo artist and uh, I may, should I, should I do this in real life? Just, just be, go full edgy e-boy in real life. You know what I mean? Get the cool haircut, get the sick style. Start. I think, you know what? I think I'm going to start wearing all black again. How about that? I feel like it just, you know, that's my, that's where I'm, that's where I'm comfortable. What am I, why am I wearing this? 
What am I doing? This is terrible. Okay, you know what? From now on, black shirts only on the stream, on the videos here. Unless it's laundry day. Because <laughs> I think I have like five. Yeah, black shirts only. All right. That's a new rule. Unless it's laundry day. So that's how you'll know. Um, yeah, dude. Should I go full edgy in real life or what? Tat it up. What do you guys? What do you guys do in real life? You got tats? Are you edgy? Okay. Uh, it's cool if you're not, you know. I've got friends who look like this in real life. I got friends who look like uh definitely don't look like Billy, you know. I got uh sure, friends that look like Sunbird. Why not? Um yeah. Are you an edgy e-boy or edgy e-girl in real life? Let me know in the comments. Um I think that'd be cool though. I should start yeah, I really got to start doing that. So yeah, Help me decide in the comments, uh, should I get that Midas skin or not? Because we literally, we have one day. Today's 10-14. Right? Yeah, 10-14. Leave me tomorrow. He might come back again one more time. I think he might. So it seems like Skelterra. They might do one more run before the end of the season. But there's just there is absolutely so much coming to the shop that I'm like, I don't know if I like actually, I don't know. I don't know where we're at. Um, so yeah, help me decide. Is that a must own? I'm really leaning towards it, but we're gonna we're gonna go over what's uh, what's coming, and it's it's dope, dude. Uh, Mephisto is here. Super clean skin. If you're into that, uh, oh, even look at the backlink right there, dude. What was the wrap? What was it? Was like a few days ago that I said it looked like an emo wrap. And I am kicking myself for not getting it. I think Dead Nightmare, you got it. And I'm pretty sure Jamie OK got it. But it, I, you remember what I'm talking about? I can't remember what it was, but I'm kicking myself for not getting it because it, it, that would look perfect with Nash, dude. Ugh. You know what I mean? You only regret the things you don't buy. There's no, I, I don't... There's no skin that I have that I'm like, Wow, I'm upset that I bought that. You know what I mean? Um, there's stuff that I bought that I don't use anymore or like used once. And I was like, ah, this actually isn't that cool. And just never use it again. That's fine. I don't, you know, I just view it as part of the collection now. I don't regret buying anything. And, I, and there's, and I, I don't have a lot of money, but I have enough to where, you know, I can buy something and not have to worry about returning it to get another thing, which and I'm not judging you because I know a lot of people do that. They'll buy a skin, try it out, be like, ah, you know what? It's not that great. And then something else comes out that they're super, super into. So they'll return. This. I'm not getting down on anyone for that. I totally. And maybe I'll be in there. Believe me, I know which I got a couple of skins in mind that are. If it ever comes down to it and I have to return a skin, oh, I know which ones they are. <laughs> I would only ever do that in an absolute desperate need where I was like, dude, I have no money and Chun Li's back in the store after freaking two years. At that point, I would start asking, I would ask you, I would, I, I would just straight up like ask people for donations. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 when that time comes i'm not gonna knock anyone who's like bro please just send me a thousand v bucks please dude i'm not gonna knock you for that if it's something that serious like chun li i get it um yeah but so that's what's going on you know i gotta start being a lot more selective uh that's okay though you know i have where are we at i don't have a crazy amount but, uh, you know, I got 254. Some I've got a list that I've never used, dude. So, you know, I almost feel like it's going to be good. But that being said, there's going to be like eight skins coming up right this next week that I'm going to be getting. So uh, you will not see me doing skin restraint just quite yet. 
But coming up, I would say after spooky season, full on lockdown, bro. Like there's a couple Christmas ones that I might grab, but you know, and then obviously if for whatever reason, Travis Scott, which will never come back or Chun-Li, which probably won't ever come back. If they come back, obviously paying my cell phone bill late that month. Let me tell you, uh, son, uh, let's talk about son's locker here. Honestly, I, I have to say that this locker bundle is absolutely phenomenal. Just the color scheme alone, everything matches. It's just like, obviously, I have no idea who this is. I looked him up. I can't, I think he's from Hungary. Um, no, he's not Hungary. He's from Hungary. He is, uh, he's, an, he's a uh, content creator from there. Um, pretty big following. I think probably the biggest in that that area. Uh, this is obviously you can tell it a lot of you know time and effort was put into tailoring this vibe, and I think it's absolutely perfect. So ten, literally ten out of ten. And uh, he added Voyager this uh, insanely rare oh season one glider, bro. Um, and this was the one that, uh, Snazzy didn't have. Uh, so now his collection is, so he doesn't have every glider in the game because some you cannot get, uh, whether they're exclusive. And I think he missed the first two battle passes. So he doesn't have literally every single one, but he has every single item shop one that, can be sold and he obviously has like a lot of the really old school battle pass stuff um but anything that can be sold or is available not including exclusive stuff to like exclusive to that season or whatever you know um he's not complete which is so cool that's got to be a good feeling for a hardcore collector that being said yellow gold i know uh I think Wayne, yeah, Wayne picked this up and said that uh, he's going to use this for uh, Anderson Pack, which I think is a wonderful idea. Uh, this is really clean, dude. At first, I was like, oh, I, I mean, I could just use the banner wrap and and do yellow, but I mean, something. This just pops, dude. This is so clean. It's crazy. I might legitimately have to pick this up. I don't really have a lot of like yellow skins though that I run. But I mean, if you think about it, dude, 1500 for th Oh, so I already own Sunny Stroll. This is a really good emote. It's really good for photography. Um, so because I own that already, let's see, how much would this be? Uh, so it's 1800 uh it's 1800 if you don't own anything. So that's, I mean, and then Sunbird is, Sunbird's a really good uh, skin. Like, sure. Uh, I thought about getting her last time she was in the shop. I skipped, but that being said, she is very, very cool. I would probably never use the mask. Although that, okay, so I wouldn't use that one with the beak, but I do actually like that. And I like the color. That's very cool. And uh, she's got like a clean back. So like it, it looks good. Well, this version at least. That looks good with uh, with back wings. Um, and then lamp pickaxe. I assume this probably glows a little bit at night very very cool um so yeah i mean i th I, I think that uh this content creator did a wonderful job curating this locker and so shout out son uh having a very dope locker bundle uh aliens is back in the shop i 100 percent completely forgot to cover this yesterday uh so i am very glad that it's still here uh and it's still here it till 10 16 this is just i mean it's phenomenal, but but uh, this is one of the best backlinks in the game. Little cat. So like I like, uh, you know, obviously we don't have the pets anymore. 
but look at that. He like comes out and he's like, <laughs> like, it's so sick. Um, and then you get this loading screen. I love seeing this loading screen. This is like one of the best ones. So I have this whole pack. Um, and you know, Ripley, Ripley looks really good in game. She's got two different versions. I'm just, I just absolutely love it. Alien one and two, the movies. Um, three is interesting. Four is when it got started getting really bad. Okay, Joss Whedon did four, and there. <laughs> Some of you might like if you're if you watch Alien the movies. Oh look, that actually looks good on him, the backlink. Um. Like three is when they started going downhill, and then the four is just like it's so nineties. It's when did it come out? It, it let me let me put it this way. And you might think, what are you talking about? I, I I remember the the fourth one fondly. There's some obviously some decent scenes in it. Um, bro, there is a basketball scene in this movie. Okay, you know, let's just go ahead and watch it. It's horrible <laughs> and i'm not t i'm not touching the darkness on this uh aliens basketball scene bro what were they thinking this is absolutely insane dude. this is in an alien movie okay if you've seen the first the first one is unbelievable the second one is uh. equally as good. Oh. Hey. There's a freaking. They're playing oh, basketball. How you doing? And they he Whatever gets like cringy like. Dude, look at this. She's like spinning the ball. I think she like dunks on him too. This is so 90s. It's crazy, dude. Wait. <laughs> I got a new game. Dude. Tag. Basketball scene, bro. Of course, watch this. Sinks it. <laughs> Guys. Alien 1 and 2, though. That's where it's at. Okay. I, uh... I used to be a huge, huge, huge movie buff. Um, obviously, I still love movies. I just haven't been watching as many uh, last couple of years. But that being said, the Alien Bundle is 100% worth it. Okay. Uh, just for the emote alone, this is so good. I love it. Okay. And the dropship... Very, very cool. So good. How much is this if you don't own anything? 2200 is good, dude. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. So for 2200, you get the Xenomorph. Um, you get... Oh, yeah. It's got like that built-in emote there. Is that built-in? Yeah, yeah. It's built-in. Uh, and then you get the tail, which I don't really ever use unless it just kind of looks funky, um, on something else besides the Xenomorph. And then you get Ripley and then you get one of the best back blings, cat back blings in the game. And you get a loading arm for 20, 2200. That's pretty good for that. Um, so I highly recommend that. Shang-Chi. Uh, I've never watched the show. But I do like this back bling a lot. What do you think about that? I think Jamie okay picked that up as well. He's clean. He is very clean. And if you're picking up uh, the Marvel, you know, if you're collecting all the Marvel skins, now's your chance. When was the last time that uh, Shang-Chi was in the shop? Shang-Chi. 113 days ago. Not rare, but you know, he comes by. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and pick that up. What's the, uh, that's not bad. Man, I really might pick up that yellow wrap, dude. That one's good. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Silver Surfer, a very, very clean skin. Shang 
douche, dude. Finally caked up guy skin. <laughs> sure. There's like four. All right. So congratulations, Silver Surfer. Uh, buns of steel, you could say. I like the I like the uh, I like the back bling. Although I feel like that would that get distracting if if you run this, let me know. Does this get distracting? It is. It looks very cool though, and I I think at night it'd probably look good too. This, however, right here, I <laughs> notice how I only own the uh, the surfboard. I really like Silver Surfer. And the other cosmetics in the bundle are good too. Um, but that being said, I was like, I think when I got this, I was showing skin restraint. And so I was like, I'm just going to get the board. And I 100% am still so happy with this purchase. This was one of the first like surfboard types uh, gliders I got. And I still use it constantly to this day. I would say at, at least once a week, I'm busting it out. Um, so yeah, I, I highly recommend if anything, in fact, I might even say my personal, personal recommendation of the day is officially silver, silver surfers glider. If you want to pick up any glider today, I know there's that super rare one. And if you're into collecting rare stuff, a hundred percent get it because I don't know when it's going to come back. I might even ask, uh, I've kind of come to the turn I, for a hot second. I was starting to pick up some like all the rare stuff that was coming back. I've come to terms with the fact that I'll never own everything. And I'm and I, and I have to be selective and I want to just get actual stuff I would wear. So I've kind of convinced myself to be okay not owning rare stuff, even though that's kind of comes naturally to me to want to own rare things. That's why I've said before, I understand ex the whole exclusivity um, argument. I'm on both sides, dude. I'm on the side of like, I'm a relatively rare or a relatively new player. And there's a ton of stuff that I want to come back. But I'm also at the same time, I understand, you know, wanting to own rare stuff. Wanting to own, you know, something that will never come back to the item shop. I get it, dude. I totally get it. So I see both sides. Um, but that being said, I've kind of gotten over. Now that there's anything wrong with it, I think I think like collecting rare stuff is rad. Uh, I think collecting everything in the item shop. If I had the money, I would literally buy the entire item shop. I just don't. Um, at the time, at this moment, I do not. Eventually, sure, yeah. I'll start buying everything. Um, but I have to be selective right now. So like I would pick Silver Surfer's surfboard, even though it comes back somewhat often. Not a lot, a lot, but it, do, it does, you know, at least a few times a year. Like I think since I bought it, it's come back twice. Yeah, it's been in the shape. So the yeah, 145 days. Then before that, 272, 316. So yeah, it looks like about every three to four months it comes back. Which, yeah, it makes sense. Um, this is my personal recommendation. Silver Surfer's Surfboard is just phenomenal. As far as something you would actually realistically use. And it looks good. It's just silver. It just looks good with everything. It's one of those uh, gliders where I'm like, ah, what should I use? Ah, whatever. I'll just use surf uh, Surfboard. Um, so Black Widow came out in season eight, isn't there? There's two different, yeah, 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 yeah. There's two different, uh, Black Widows. So there's the snowsuit one, which is super clean. Uh, she, she was just here a month ago. And then there's the, uh, OG one from season eight. Both good. This one hasn't been back for 145 days ago. Oh, this got blonde too. There we go. Blonde variant. I like brunettes, so. Um it's pretty good, pretty good. That's nice. I like that. Here's actually I might legitimately 
Okay, I might legitimately get this because hear me out. You know, I am making a concerted effort to like try I wanna really start getting more into getting back into um photography, you know? Doing the whole little contest is like really uh it's really um sparking interest back into it again. That being said, this final move that that pose right at the end i think will be perfect for photography okay watch this right here right there that pose right there at the end and she kind of sits on it so it'd be perfect for photography right there so many skins will look good in this so let's pick um just random fastball i think i think it you know any i think most skins are going to look good doing this yeah, that's going to be sick, dude. Um, let's pick something like not uh, not girl skins. Okay, how about like something like Black Panther? I, I do obviously Black Panther is going to look good doing this. But we'll do it anyway. Oh, just like so sick. Um This is like a must have, I think. Oh, let's pick uh, Darth Maul. By the way, don't sleep on Darth Maul. Darth Maul is a dope skin. Oh, yeah. Okay, one more, like, edgy e-girl type. And then we'll move on. I think I'm going to get it. I think it's a, I think, uh, a must-have. I was looking at it earlier, and I was like, oh, yeah. Okay. That's a must-have. Oh, Briar the Thorn. I used her so much when she came out. She's so good, dude. She, uh... She's really, really good. Oh, no. and her rose petals and stuff that come off? Forget about it. Okay. This is like perfect for her. Yeah. Phenomenal. For 200? Yeah, we need it. You're coming home. Um... Yeah, so I'm starting to kind of... Let me know if... Uh, oh, my Lanta time today. You know who that is? Wayne. What's up, dog? Sent me a freaking gift, bruh. Oh. I wanted this. I literally was like, dude, I really want this. GG's dubs in the chat for freaking Wayne, bro. Yes, dude. Thank you so much, bro. Honestly. This is good. This is, I'm telling you, you guys don't sleep on this. I was literally about, I was going to get it. I was like, I think I need to get it. I, I said it a couple times. I was like, this is so clean, bro. Look at that, dude. Thank you, Wayne. You are the goat. Wayne's such a good guy. Uh, so sick, dude. I'm going to equip it right now. I'm going to use it. I got to figure out I got to figure out which skin I'm going to use it for. So yellow is going to be difficult. Oh, right off the right off the bat Blair is Blair would look phenomenal with this actually. Um oh, Okay, actually oh, Cinder this version of Cinder would look really good. Uh the actually Dara would look good. Anything Oh, B girl would look good. Uh Invincible would look really good obviously any peely you know anything yellow um that would look good too oh this version of outcast though obviously with oh perfect this is literally her rap <laughs> um i mean you could uh and you know what like you don't necessarily have to match too you know uh there's certain people who are just like, dude, I, I just, I don't care. I literally don't care about matching. I just want to use whatever I use. And I see both. I see both. And I kind of want to get, get to that. Like you could use like with Safari, you know, she's kind of like a minimalistic design. You could use, you could use that with her, even though there's not it quote unquote wouldn't match. Um, oh, and then also, oh yeah. Dummy. I have the, uh, the only one I have is the waistline, but either version, like this would look really good with, that rap would look really good with him. So, shout out, Wayne. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Um, that's going to be sick. But to continue on with the sentiment of 
I'm starting to really look at emotes now uh, with photography in mind, okay? So I'm like looking at the poses they do. I'm looking at it more so now than just like, oh, to do a fun emote like in game, like sure, also that's cool. But now I'm looking at it additionally with, with like, is this cool to do in game? Also, would it make, is it a cool pose to do photography with? So I'm kind of like, it's adding like a whole new layer to emotes for me. So like look at ground and pound right there. See that, that finish, that finishing move. That might be a cool pose too. Uh, I own this one. This is, that could be good too. We gotta, we gotta switch my model here. Um, I don't think I've ever, have you used this? <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. I just get attacked. I got to blow my nose. Hold on. We're going to turn the camera off. I don't want, I, I don't want you to see this dude. You know what? We need to do an OCD check anyway. Recording on camera off. Cause I don't want you to see it. <gasps> don't look at me. <laughs> I don't want you to be a part of this. Okay, we're good, dude. Everything's fine. We're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Display capture on, camera on, we're recording. We're good to go, baby. Um, Yeah, so that's really where I'm at. You know, let's do... This is one of the... Skin, Violet. One of the skins from the pack that I just got. We'll use her. That's cool. Oh, also that, I mean, these, uh, these would look good with Violet. These right here. You know what? Um, speaking of the dang emotes and photography, let's do the darn wheel of names here. Okay. So this was, um, this was for everyone who participated. Look at the dude. Everyone's picking up this. I'm telling you, shout out ghostly. Pick up some cool stuff with your quantum camper code. Shout out ghostly. Um, dude, I'm telling you, people are, uh, people are picking up some, some rad stuff. So, so the yellow glow and then this, uh, this emote and then uh silver surfer surfboard. Those might be the big, uh, big things to get. Also, <laughs> cap and skulls be checking to see if I can keep up with, uh, with skins. Yeah. Look at that. What's his name? Counting, counting the cash. Uh, yeah, so also follow me on Twitter, too. I like it when you guys post um, you picking up stuff with my code. Uh, you you uh, sending me cool clips. You getting dubs and everything. Um, shout out Claymore picking up uh, San yeah, Sandshark Driver. We'll, we'll take a look at that. Uh, a lot of people have been picking up the uh, uh, Zero Point a graphic novel that has the Batman and Harley Quinn codes in it. Shout out Bills. Um very cool. That I mean, that's something that you know. I just wanted to share with the community. I don't get any cut of you guys getting this. It's just something I thought that you know everyone needed that didn't have it. And it turns out a lot of people didn't have it, um, which is sick. So I'm glad. Uh, a lot of people didn't even. Know, I didn't even know it existed. I mean, I didn't know it existed. I knew the codes existed, and you can get it on Aniba, but um, it wasn't until the vault. 098 won the uh the drawing and they were like hey by the way you know i here's a link on amazon to the graphic novel that has the code for harley quinn and batman i was like what so you know you gotta you gotta kind of pay it forward someone hooks you up with some cool information like that you gotta i gotta you know i gotta let you guys know about it too so shout out the vault 98 i wouldn't have gotten that if it wasn't for them so see that so I'm, I do the giveaways and then they let me know about cool stuff and then you know it's all it's all about community that's how we roll bruh um so this oh this isn't it um we're, we're doing the big uh the big contest very soon on Zephyrus and so on the big contest you can take pictures anywhere you want okay um. Oh, we have to get Lord Osiris on here. Do I not have him on here? Excuse me, Jarrett. Okay, he's on there. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so you can take 
on the big on the big uh, contest, you can take photos anywhere on Zephyrus, okay? And then you're gonna win at least twenty eight hundred V bucks. I might do five thousand for the winner of that, and that's gonna be based on merit and not even just me is going to be judging the winner of that admire the creator of zephyrus is also going to be judging um so you're going to get the at least 2800 view bucks plus you're going to get he has a he has a museum in the map that your your submission will be put into and he's i just messaged him and i was like you know because i told him i was like hey we got to delay the delay the contest because i moved and he's like no problem uh, I guess he's like revamping the museum, uh, and it's gonna he's gonna have a huge frame put in there for the winner in the map. So the winner will have their photography submission inside of Zephyrus, which is crazy. It's wild. It's awesome. So you're gonna win V bucks, lots of V bucks, um, and it, that picture can be taken anywhere on Zephyrus. However, I was like, and that's going to be open to everyone out yet because it's going to be a big Twitter post and uh, it's going to be open to everyone outside of everyone, not just the community here. Okay. But I was like, Hey, I'm for you guys. I want to give you guys a, uh, an advantage. Okay. So I, I was like, let's do a mini one at the pumpkin patch specifically. Okay. We got some seriously amazing uh, submissions. I 100% need this skin when it comes back. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a must have for me. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys seriously submitted some unbelievable stuff. So good. This is my submission. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. This was like the day or day after I got Harley Quinn. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, we got, uh, oh yeah, and then Paul, and you know what's cool is that like, you know, Paul, people like Paul Peterson, uh, who's phenomenal, just an absolute natural at this, uh, they were like, dude, I've never done this before, but it, you know, it kind of, uh, kind of sparked a lot of like, uh, like a new hobby for them, so they're, so Paul Peterson's like, uh, all about it, look how good they are, it's crazy, dude, we got Pathetic Person, Jude, everyone, dude. A lot of OGs in here. Zane. I like this duck uh, skin, by the way. Who is this? I might need this duck skin. Really good. You guys are so good, dude. I love it. Uh, and this emote right here, the Emma Frost one, goes super hard with uh, photography. So, shout out to everyone who... Uh, Borderline Peso, too. Uh, shout out to everyone. Even if I don't know, name your name, don't get upset. Uh, but so anyone, so it, so this is going to be shout out spirit bomb 55. Um, this mini contest is not about who's the best. It's literally just about participation. I wanted you guys to get used to the map, get, you know, kind of get a feeling for it, get your feet wet doing photography. If you hadn't ever done it before. And, you know, a lot of people are saying like, hey, you kind of got me back into this or, hey, this is like the first time I've ever done this um, and I love it. And, the, and you know, some people are really starting to get into it. So uh, that makes me super happy. So this is a drawing for everyone who participated, who submitted a photo of Zephyrus at the pumpkin patch specifically. Um, we have 31 names here. This is for 1000 V bucks. This is the mini contest. Let's see who's going to win, okay? Uh, we got all the names right here. These are all the Twitter names. So, uh, you know, if you are used to commenting on YouTube, I may or may not remember your name because I mostly know people from their YouTube names. But here we go. Except Cold Zone. I remember you. Uh, and Plushy. And... Yes. Let's do it, dude. Who will win 1,000 V-Bucks for the mini photography event? <gasps> 31 names. That's pretty good odds, dude. Here we go. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Dang, dude. Dang, bruh. Check this out. 
Bro, you know who this is, right? 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 Hold on. I need to... Uh, why is that not... Okay, hold on. We gotta pull him up. We gotta pull him up. W.S. Croggins. Okay. At W.S. Why is this not working? My computer is dumb. Okay. Let's load all this up here. I want to show, we got to show off their submission here. Um, congratulations. Here we go. W.S. Freaking Wayne. <laughs> Wayne, who just sent me the rap. I swear I didn't rig this. Wayne, <laughs> no editing. Wayne, who just sent me the rap, won the freaking spin, dude. That's wild, bro. <gasps> wow, dude. That's, unbel that's unbelievable, dude. I can't believe that. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, 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 because you had the cool, the cool drummer uh, submission. That's so dope, dude. I can't believe you won. That's why. <laughs> wow, dude. That's so freaking cool. Oh, my God. Congratulations, Wayne. You have won 1,000 V-Bucks. When you see this, hit me up on uh, Twitter in the message. Wayne, Wayne has submitted. Wayne has put his name in so many freaking times on the, the, regular, the regular drawings. This is wild, bro. I, I'm so stoked you just won, dude. I, I mean, he's probably put, he's probably commented like 50 times. That's crazy. Congratulations, Wayne. That is dope. Ew, 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 ew. Heck yeah, bro. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm stoked for you. Honestly, hit me up. Send me a message. Uh, that is going to be it for the drawings. We get, we still got some more shop stuff to talk about. Um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take a break on the drawings just for like I don't know four or five days uh, until I get settled in to my new place. But then we'll start them back up again, and then we'll get that big contest going. Uh, Sand Shark Driver, somebody tagged me in. I think she's cool, and I really like that they did a uh, hat on hat off version. Is this eight hundred? Yeah, this is eight hundred skin. This is a good eight hundred skin. Okay. Um. What's wild too is that Briar, the thorn that I showed earlier that I was all about and still am all about, that's an 800 skin too. That's crazy. Ghetto Lego confirmed. Um, Very cool for 800. Dude, Dark Heart though, phenomenal skin. I'm, I'm like on the edge about this one, dude. And look how good. And she's like low-key, edgy, spooky. Will go good with any of the emo goth stuff. Uh, which I made a post about. I was like, what's up with some emo, uh, goth, uh, screamo type uh, emotes? There's not a lot, dude. There's one Cure song that somebody pointed out, which I actually do have because it's from the Billie Eilish uh, Festival Pass. So I do have a Cure song, so I could use that. But that being said, uh, there's not a lot of emo screamo goth representation i mean there are some there's some skins but as far as emotes go i don't feel like there's enough i don't feel like there's enough honestly there are some these wings are really nice uh dark heart is i wouldn't say rare but it's i think it's one of those three or four month ones let's see i don't think it's uh I don't think she's exclusive to Halloween because yeah, 59 days. So a month, but then look at that. She was gone for like, so it goes from 325 to 59. Okay. And then, okay. So about every 30 days, it does jump. Okay. I'm going to, I'll hold off on this. I'll get this next time. Uh, so it looks like 60 to 90, sometimes like a 200 day absence, absent absence um so i'm gonna skip I'll, skip I'll skip but i i, I think i said a phenomenal skin get a lego um so yeah i know i know jamie okay picked him up picked her up uh yeah just f so good dude so good yeah it's a really really good skin there's just like we got to talk about this um the stuff coming is just absolutely insane dude like 
tomorrow's Edward Scissorhands. The day after that is Lexa. Okay. And then she Venom is coming uh, next week. Like it's just, there's just too much, dude. I mean, and I'm happy about it. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. The freaking hover jets got vaulted and it's causing some chaos on Twitter. Um, I personally liked. I Okay. I, I liked and disliked the, the hover jets. I, abs- I loved using them. When I had them, they were absolutely phenomenal. So fun to use. I think it was one of the best movements, if not the best, in my opinion. Uh, however, it gave you such a freaking advantage, an unfair advantage. I'll say it. I, I, I like. I'll hundred percent agree with that sentiment. It gave you an unfair advantage when it first came out. The drop, the drop rate was crazy. There was hover jets all over the place. I felt like that was okay because so at that point everyone had a chance to get a hover jet. Basically, so you had a bunch of hover jets flying around. So if everyone has it, they're on. Then you know. Uh, Everyone's at a level playing field, but then they nerfed the the drop rate, and uh, so less people were able to get them. So it gave like a a, a finite amount of people uh, a huge advantage, and you just it, it was. So, I mean, I definitely won a bunch of matches uh, without the hover jets, but majority majority of my matches were won with a hover jet on my back. Hundred percent. I, I will. I and it kind of just you know change the game you know in a sense that the 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 typical building you know aspect or just the you know fundamentals of the game were completely changed with uh, the hover jets that being said i i think they're super they're super fun um but yeah so they got rid of hover jets they brought back shiri's claws very interesting what do you guys think about that uh i'm seeing mixed reviews some people really like the hover just as well um, but then a lot of people though actually are like, yeah, bro, uh, rest in piss. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm sad to see him go. I want, you know, but I just, uh, the drop rate, maybe they, the, maybe they belong in like an LTM or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, I'm looking for, there was a post that says when everything's coming out. So Lexa drops, uh, October 17th. Oh, which is in three days. So tomorrow's Edward Scissorhands. I, I saw, I'm seeing conflicting, um, messages. Oh, also the, uh, OG paradigm style, uh, came out. What do you guys think about that? It's, uh, black and purple, which is like what they always do. I think it's pretty cool. You know, if I got it, I'd be happy with it. Um, but as an OG owner, are you happy with it? That's what I want to know. So, you know what? We got to go with Sheena, dude. I think Sheena, Sheena might be the goat as far as leakers and uh, and um, Fortnite information goes. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Updated Fortnite Mirror shop releases. According to Sheena, some Marvel skins tonight. Okay, which is correct. Endo car bundle tonight. I don't know if that's in there or not. Uh, Edward Scissorhands tomorrow, Marvel McLaren Senna tomorrow, uh, Sabrina Carpenter bundle October 16th, which is in two days, Lexa Hexbringer October 16th, She Venom and Agony October 24th. So, uh, oh my God, she's so great, dude. Like I almost can't even like look at her. It's crazy. That's wild. Um, so Edward Scissorhands though, tomorrow, I'm going to try to do a little squad with everyone, not everyone, but a select three people do a couple games when uh, Edward Scissorhands comes out, record it, you know, cut, hopefully get some new skin luck. Just saying we, we did, so that's what I'm saying. We need a team of sweats coming in hot. Okay. Um, so that's going to be good. Edward Scissorhands tomorrow. Are you guys excited? I honestly can't wait. So Edward Scissorhands tomorrow. And then Lexa. I mean, Sheena's saying Lexa's coming out in two days. Hypex says three days. I'm kind of going to go with Sheena on this. Okay. 
Um, so I don't know. What do you think? What are you going to get? I think on, across the board, every you know, most people are going to get Alexa, uh, and then also Edward too. Edward Scissorhands is just phenomenal. So, moving on, Orbital Abductor. I use this a lot, by the way. Uh, re reacts to audio. This is a really, really good uh, pickaxe. I I enjoy it a lot. Hotwire. Hotwire is good too. But it's just one of those skins where it just always comes out when there's too much good stuff. I think because I got the other emote, I'm going to skip that one. Because uh, it is kind of similar. But uh, that being said, the ultimate uh, Reckoning pack is uh, is back. This is here until 10.16. Oh, actually, you have two days to get this. I don't know if I'll ever use this version. But I can tell you I did several games with this. And you can get low-key sweaty with this, too. Uh, he's got the skinny frame. And uh, he has, like, you know, black and uh, gray colors. So you can get kind of, you can get sweaty for sure. I was, I was like, camping with him. And uh, I was camping with him in ranked. And it and it worked for sure. Um, so that's cool. I'm Dude, I, I, I have to get Unreal. I'm at elite like 35% or something like that. Uh, maybe I'll use her tonight. She's super cool. I want to try her out for sure. I'm showing skin restraint big time. I bought that emote, but I don't. I, I don't think I'm getting a getting a uh, the only. Well, what's funny is the only other thing I was like all, like I, I was at 99% I was gonna get was that wrap, and then freaking Wayne sent it to me. So, uh, very cool. Oh yeah, Endo is here. Um, pretty cool. But, you know, if I'm going to get anything, it's going to be that, uh, the dang Paul Walker car. So, uh, which I know, um, Ch -ch 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 Captain's Calls just got to. I posted that on Twitter. Uh, this is very clean. I, I have seen it in game. I like it a lot. It's nice. Um, that about does it for the shop. A Skull Squad pack. I think I'll skip this. It is very good, though. It's here till twelve. Oh, this is here till twelve three. You got time on this if you uh, if you want to get it. Wow, that's wild. That's gonna be here till till December. That's crazy. This is this pack is gonna be here all from all the way through spooky season, all the way through November, and then a few days into December. That's wild that this is here this long. Um, that's cool though. I think you know for the price twenty two ninety nine for four skins great that about does it let's go to the top i don't think there's anything else that we need to go over um yeah shadow shadow minus i gotta make up my decision uh yeah i may i may get him well, i we'll see uh michael myers is uh see michael myers has been updated and is expected to return to the Fortnite uh item shop um yeah so this is just getting stupid <laughs> You know what? Uh, I think it was. Um, hold on, it was Luffy posted a something, kind of going over everything that they're getting, uh, and I, I think it's it's a nice uh, collection of stuff. So I, I want to pull that up because um, he was talking about how his wallet is hurting, and I'm like, yeah, bro, same. Uh, Man, this is already, uh, this is insane. Already copped a Billy and Sally bundle. Now I'm waiting on Edward Scissorhands, Michael Myers, Jack Skellington, Alexa Hexbringer, and Dark Ruby. R.I.P. Wallet. <laughs> uh, and then also Leatherface. So like, you know, and then me and Jamie are like, yeah, bro, we're cooked. <laughs> R.I.P. Wallets for sure. So, I mean, that's like, Edward Scissorhands, this is stuff that we still haven't gotten. Edward Scissorhands, Michael Myers, Jack Skellington, Lexa, Dark Ruby. Uh, so that's, and then, um, what was the other one? And then Leatherface. That's six skins right there coming up that are must haves. Okay. And then six, okay. Let's do, let's pull up a calculator. Let's say you just get the skins, okay? And they're probably 1,500. 
Oh, wait, what am I doing? Six times 1,500 equals 9,000 V-Bucks. So you're uh, you know you're getting the bundles, though. You're at least going to be have to see. I'm going to have to either skip one or re-up. All right. You know what? I have some epic reward points, though, that I could cash out. Or epic, you know how they give you the money back? I might, have to, I might do that. But I'm saving that for a rainy day, just in case. Um, which, I, you know, I should be able to re-up. I should be fine. Uh, oh, yeah, and then Billy was here. Like, just... To, I mean, there's been so far released. So there will have been at the end of this season, like, unless you bought, like, Jack Skellington already. Which I'm sure a lot of you did. But yeah, there's been like, for me, 10 must-have skins, basically, this spooky season in the span of like, what, three weeks here? This is this is getting this is getting out of control, guys. I, I'm telling you what, I mean, and this is just my vibe, the whole spooky season, which is, which is, you know, I'm, diver I'm I diversify. I love the emo goth kind of spooky skins, but then at the same time, I'm like, dude, the yellow glow wrap is wildly, insanely good. Okay. I like, I, you know, I look good. I dabble other, other things. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Let me know what you're going to get. Uh, what are you looking forward to? Please, one more time, uh, make sure that you use my supporter creator code, which is quantum camper, all one word, Q U A N T U M C A M P E R. Hit the search, uh, button. Look for the green check mark, cancel the back out, you're all good. And every 14 days, that's right, every fortnight, it resets. So make sure it's still in there. Uh, drop me a like and subscribe. Always leave me a comment. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.